hi everyone welcome back to the channel this is the next video in the best practice series with UiPath and today I am going to talk about something which is called workflow analyzer which is by default available in our UiPath studio which can actually help us in implementing a lot of best practices right so you simply have to go to your UiPath studio on the top ribbon you would have something which is called this one which says analyze file uh, you have analyze project validate project and then you have something which is called workflow analyzer setting right so this is already available in your UiPath studio it is a static code analyzer that makes sure that your project meets high quality and reliability standards a big advantage of that it is a static code analyzer which means that you have all these rules defined within your UiPath studio only to take an example let me go to initialization now I have added an assigned activity and I have just hard coded the value and I have not renamed the activity as well now if I simply go to the ribbon and I say analyze the file you would notice that in the error list I am getting something which is called activity name defaults which shows that in your project you are, are trying to run all the rules and this is the recommendation it simply says me that whatever activity you have written right that assigned activity it should be having a proper name so that anybody who is reading the code it's able to understand that what actually this thing does and this set of rule is not defined by me it is already available in the UiPath studio you can simply click on this one and it will actually navigate you to the best practice section that why this error you have got right and it will tell you the recommendation also now if I want to see all the restriction or all the checks which are defined I simply go to the project you have this setting button here project settings and here you have something which is called workflow analyzer right now if you see here analyze if the project follow the automation best practices and all of these are available for you right you can change the settings here by changing it to error inflow warning anything right so all of these are available here and they have a specific warning level as well right error simply means that it won't allow you to publish warning will just a warning and you can still publish right you can add or remove more constraints from here and these are pre-built defined in the UiPath studio if you are not able to see this workflow analyzer that means that your studio version is older than 2022.4 workflow analyzer was introduced in 2022.4 release so that means that you need to upgrade your UiPath studio right so analyze project checks the project for validation error it adds the project level validate file it will only check the currently open file which is available on the design panel and then you have something which is called the validate project which is going to validate the complete project and this is the workflow analyzer setting that opens the same window which we open from the project settings now in the workflow analyzer setting you have this option of scope right you can always go here and filter this as per the activity level or you can always filter is at the workflow level right so all of these things are available and to know more about workflow analyzer you simply can click on this guy which says learn more and it will navigate you to docs.uipa.com that is the official website and you can read about everything and how you can actually manage the rules right so the best practice to follow here is that before publishing any project if you want to enforce some kind of best practices embedded in the studio you can always utilize this guy which is called workflow analyzer right i hope this was helpful we have a complete dedicated playlist which talks about the other best practices which as a developer we need to follow the link of the playlist is available in the description or in the bio thank you for watching and happy automation mm -hmm.